Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This week we're going to be DIYing this Palmera giant wool fan which I've been seeing in Urban Outfitters and similar designs on Etsy which are very expensive and I don't have the money for that but I want the style. So we're going to DIY it using a paper folding technique which turned out really well and I can't wait to show you so stay tuned on how to make a cheap version of this. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself some gift wrap brown paper, something that is a long roll of paper and wide enough that when you fold it all together you will be able to get a nice circumference of fanage. <laughs> so I just got this brown paper. The thicker the paper you can get the better for this because it will be more structurally sound and will look better but this is uh, what I was using. A little shout out to With Wendy. I came across this idea um, and seen her do a video on it. Um, towards the end of her video, it got a little bit blurry on how to attach it to the wall. So I have covered that in a little bit more depth in this video. So thanks to With, with Wendy because um, I did want to do this video and this one really helped me. So hopefully this one helps you too. But anyway, onto the folding. I just folded here. I'm on the floor the most of the time with this, um, which I shouldn't have been because it did really mess my back up a little bit. And uh, I recommend just getting to a table, clear a big table, um, the less hunching over the better in this project. So I just measured about an inch up with a ruler or long made lines and uh, just folded along that edge and made sure to keep it as straight as possible. My smart brain again was once engaged and I used my sound sensitivity hacks with my <laughs> headphones, uh, noise cancelling headphones and music because the paper sound was really grating after a while. But once you have got all your pieces and you feel like it's thick enough to flail, flail around <laughs> to the size you want, you want to use double sided sticky tape and join the pieces together as neatly as you can. Once you feel you have enough and it's looking the right shape, you want to hole punch holes along the edge. Make sure the edge is trimmed up so if you did go a bit uneven on the folding, uh, it's a lot more straight on the edges. Uh, I just hole punched along because I didn't. my leather punch didn't work. And then you want to make this circular design at the base, which is what the fan will be sitting on top of. I just used toilet roll and sort of stacked inside till it was nice and thick and then wrapped around with embroidery floss to make it look really pretty and I will show, I will explain now in a second how it was looking and how I fitted it onto the wall. Um, you also want to tie the string together, this will help it fan out and you can tie that around the base. So this is the fan at the moment, I've just somehow attached it to the wall um, I made the little tube there, but I added a, put a thread through here and it's like knotted at the top and it's just a loop of thread that goes all the way up so I can hang it and then this is just sort of resting on it, it's not necessarily attached. So this is working out how I want it, but as you can see it's like a giant circle, which is kind of cool, but is not what I was looking for. So I think in order for it to stop spreading out so much, I'm gonna try and do a technique where I will tie. Yeah, so I will put a thread all the way through, all along, and I'm gonna tie a knot. Like maybe about so much space in between, and then hopefully that will give it a lot more structure and um, stop it from being so spread out at the top but all in all it's not doing it's not looking too bad like it does look pretty cool it's a little bit um uneven there at the base but i think once i lift it up you won't notice so hmm back to work with this i think right so in order for me to get this right shape that i want I'm going to lay it out on the floor and in order to have it closed up I just uh, put the ring in and then tied it around 
where I want it and then just kind of rearrange these pieces till they're even enough how you want them. Um, so I kind of want it to be not completely, uh, not completely 180 degree shape. I want it to slightly come down a little bit but not too much because I don't want it to be a full circle. So about there is pretty good. And then I'm just going to go in with some um, string or cotton string and I'm just going to make some, pierce some tiny holes here and here and just go through, make a knot, go through, make a knot, go through, make a knot until I go all the way around and that will hopefully give it some structure. Um, I'll be able to fold it back up but when it does fall, uh, and fold fan out it won't be um, it won't be splaying everywhere because I'll have that tension with the knot so that's what I'm going to do for this and then I should be done and we'll see how it goes then I've just got to put a tassel but I think I'll, I'll probably buy a tassel because I've seen a few in the shop somewhere so I might just get that and then we will have the finished fan so what I'm doing is I'm for the next one, I will pierce through this side and this side. So piercing through the, the fold. And then I will come back up and just loop back around again through the hole the second time. And then on tightening that, I will adjust it and then put my um, thread through under the loop like that. And then pull it to create a sort of looped knot. It's not a tie knot, it's more of just a go through and loop it knot. So guys, hopefully my weird explanations does actually help you. If not, here's a visual representation of what I meant. Uh, I just put it through and then tighten it. Then I adjust it to the tension that I need it to be. And then I go back in through that same hole and then also just go through and tighten it and then before i completely tighten it there will be a loop and you just put your thread through that loop and it kind of creates a crossover section that will just sort of semi tighten it now i also after i had done this it had tightened up a little bit too much so make sure you leave enough thread um, at the start of your sections so you can go back and re-loosen it if it turns out too tight. Anyways, I did buy a tassel but I didn't like the look of it so I made one from just regular string. You want to use embroidery floss because it will look nicer. Um, but anyway, this is how the fan turned out. Um, I just attached it to the wall with the method of that string holder. I also made the tassel and it came up pretty well. I'll link the video I used to make that so you can make it the same. And this is the finished fan guys. So this is the finished fan. I really love how it turned out. It's very simple. It's quick and easy to do depending on the skill level of your folding and in, is 10% of the price of the original one and it looks pretty similar so I hope you enjoyed this video you could even make this even more complicated if you wanted and spray painted it or did some fun design on it but this is how mine turned out and I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any more questions on this if I didn't explain anything properly um, I'm happy to answer them so thanks so much for watching and I will see you in our next video